Good morning, Hawks. Last week, we all learned new ways to practice deep breathing together. And you might be thinking, why do we have to practice breathing? Breathing is something we do every second. But we practice things that we think are important. And we learned that breathing, even though we do it all the time, actually helps us calm our bodies and feel better if we think about how we are breathing. So, just like you want to practice bouncing a basketball, if you want to become good at playing basketball, we need to practice our breathing. So we'll practice this skill every day this week. Are you ready? This week we will learn a new skill and add it to the deep breathing we learned last week. And it's called bumblebee breathing. Hi, my name is Jason from Mrs. Lindsay's fifth grade class. I'm Nana from Mr. Klein's fifth grade class. And I'm Giselle from Mrs. Jones' fifth grade class and we're excited to learn deep breathing. All right, Hawks, follow along as Chaselyn, Landon, and Giselle lead us through deep breathing. We're going to remember what we learned last week, and then eventually we'll add a new skill. So, Hawks, in your chairs, please become comfortable. Sit back in your chair. Legs uncrossed, feet flat on the ground if you can reach, and palms of your hands on your knees. All right. Let's close our eyes as we begin to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, four. Awesome, keep breathing in through your nose, two, three, four, hold, two, three, breathe out, two, three, as you breathe in this time, notice how deep down in your stomach the breath can go in. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, out, two, three, four. Each time you breathe in, you should try to breathe in deeper and deeper into your stomach. This week we're going to practice listening to our bodies and listening to our breathing. Feel the air entering in through your nose, filling up your lungs, and then you exhale. As I'm speaking, you should continue to breathe in and breathe out, just as we practiced. But this time, I want us to try something new. Gently place your hands over your ears. We're doing this so that we can close out any distracting sounds in the room. Before we breathe in and out, this time when you breathe out, make a buzzing sound like a bee. Ready? Remember, before we do this, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth with the buzz sound. Ready? Begin. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, out. Bzzz. Awesome. This buzzing sound not only keeps out sounds in the room, but it, it could even quiet your thoughts too. Let's try again. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, exhale, buzz out. Bzzz. You're still letting your breath out, but you're a buzzing bee letting out all of the distracting noises. Wonderful. Let's try it again, but this time let's be a hummingbird. Rest your arms for a moment. Imagine one of those beautiful hummingbirds sneaking by and gently place your hands over your ears. This time as you exhale, so that means breathe out, make a hum sound like a hummingbird. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, Hum. Great, let's try it again. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, hmm. Watch the fifth graders as they try it a couple more times and follow along. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, hmm. As we continue to breathe in and out, 
We now will add our last animal of the day. Let's practice owl breathing. This is a natural sound for you to want to make as you exhale out. This time, you will make an oo sound when you exhale. Are you ready? Make sure you're in your comfortable position in your chair. It's okay if you lose focus for a moment. Just quietly come back into focus and let's breathe in. Two, three, four, hold, two, three. Ooh. I like that I'm hearing the exhale last longer than the inhale. You should exhale more breath out than you breathed in. Let's try again the owl breathing. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three. Ooh. And one more time. Breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three. Ooh. I'm impressed by your owl breathing, your hummingbird breathing, and your bee breathing. Remember, Hawks, you can try this when you're needing your body to calm, you're needing to feel better, you're needing to focus or you're needing a break. Let's thank these awesome fifth graders. Have a good day, Hawks.